So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow, what have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in, like all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we- Say no more! Let's ride, people! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Red, what's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... <laughs> this here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Disney. For everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. You know, we should probably take a look at the town this notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancy trying my hand as a mayor. No time to dick around. I can, I swear. Think we can do without your kind of help, you Shinra bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? <sighs> the way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <coughs> I only did that, because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. So, what are free flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less, though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Yes.
Well, looks like we found the airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a public telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane! Follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane! airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Huh? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be dead! Told you I'd speed things up! <laughs> Seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you have you got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to your pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Got to make sure my baby's balanced just so. <laughs> Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of 
course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to ya. The veil's this way.
real quick. We gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. I was born and raised here. In this canyon, I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that! You're only making this harder! I mean... I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then, we can see the sights. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Marmaki. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. And one could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh! Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Nanaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> Oh, 
have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. I never thought you could become even more enchanted. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Childhood, none of you was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. I suspect it can't detect much now. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Nothing is as beautifully complex as the cosmos. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze into their past. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies.
planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... and its spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Of course, 
these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. If we have anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines.
in our great mother. Within you all are the planet's thoughts and memories. Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? The planet speaks to all of her children. All the time I've spent here? A seminar is in progress. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I... Uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it. Except beautiful, maybe? It was... a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is... I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Many travelers have joined in the River of Lights. to chase the horizon.
so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. She would never forsake us. Never abandon us. For we are her children, one and all. This wonderful planet is always watching over us. Ever keeping calamity at bay. If people everywhere resolve to not take her bounty for granted, and offer... When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us, that... Uh, no. Don't give me that bullshit. You start as Cloud. If I may, allow me to add a new word to your lexicon. Decorum, meaning polite behavior. You sometimes exhibit a severe lack of decorum. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? What do you want to do? Not nothing, that's for damn sure. At the same time, though, I don't know what fighting's the answer anymore. Maybe it's time for some good old-fashioned introspection. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we? Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Like the youths who left the Vale you. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. 
And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think? River of Lights. For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Bless! My hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, You've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. 